can't believe it. Ah, you haven't changed a bit. I thought you would be bigger. Well, I'm stronger than I look. Oh, and they said you wouldn't be home until next month. I know, I wanted to surprise you. Oh, well, we even had a party planned. Your dad was going to come home early from a business trip to be there. He was? Yeah. So handsome, so grown up. Where's your uniform? Oh, I have it. I just don't like wearing it out in public. Everyone just stares at me. No, I understand. You're still shy. A little bit. <laughs> My goodness, why are we still standing here? Come in! Welcome home! sitting around doing nothing. Well, they told me that you were in some active combat. Yeah, but it sounds more exciting than it really is. Well, I don't mean to push. I just can't believe you're here. <laughs> I can't believe it either. I missed you. I still can't believe you're here. You didn't leave because of me, did you? What? No, of, of course not. Why did you say that? Well, you remember the night, your 20th birthday party. I mean, everybody had left and it was just us. And we were having so much fun laughing and smiling as we cleaned up. Yeah, I remember. And that night was perfect. I got all swept up in the excitement. And I really shouldn't have kissed you. I'm sorry it was wrong. You didn't do anything wrong, Mom. You haven't been worrying about this since I left, right? Yeah. Well, you're the best mom. I, I promise, like, marrying you was the best thing Dad ever did. It was the best thing I ever did. If I hadn't have married your father, I wouldn't have met you. I should really set up your room. <laughs> I wanted to make it nice, but you came home early. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. I'll do it now. You must be exhausted. Well, let me help you. Uh, no, don't be silly. You just stay here and relax. All right. Thanks, Mom. really have to make the bed every day in the military? Yeah, of course. Well, why don't you show me how you do it? No, no, I, I do that enough. I like the way you make it better. Well, what if I'm doing it wrong? You can't make it bad wrong. Uh, well, I suppose you're right. <laughs> you know, it's really strange. Hmm. You and I have spent most of our lives apart, but yet... You feel so familiar, so comfortable. When did you marry my dad again? God, I don't really remember. I know it was around Christmas. Right. You were 18? Yeah, I think almost 19, right? Right. God, I was so afraid you'd hate me. What? <sighs> well, stepmoms always have such a bad rap. You know, we're jealous, evil creatures. Or horny seductresses. You don't think of me that way, do you? No, no, I was just saying. No, I, I see you as mom, as Sarah, the beautiful, loving woman who always cares for me. Oh, you make me sound so much better than I am. It's true, though. You know, I was so lonely when you were gone. Well, I was lonely without you, too. Why did you go? For a lot of different reasons. You've become so secretive now. Well, I've always been more of a private person, you know that. Uh, yeah, but I'm your mom and I care about you. I know, I just 
don't want to burden you with anything. You're not a burden. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Can I ask you a favor? Anything. When I'm here for the next few days, don't tell anybody. I've been really tired. I just need to get some rest. Sure. Then after a few days, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be in the other room, and I'll let you get some rest. All right, thanks, Mom. Yeah. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy you're home, too. I love you. I love you, too. morning. <laughs> Relax, you're home. <laughs> and good morning. <laughs> Forgot how nice it is to wake up whenever you want, especially to a pretty smile like that. People in the military don't smile? Well, nobody as pretty as you. Oh, stop. <laughs> so, what would you like for breakfast? Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm not that hungry. Are you sure? Because I can make you anything you like. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. What do you have planned for today? Well, I was hoping we could talk. Talk? Yeah, there's something I've been needing to tell you. Oh, should I be worried? No, no, I hope not. Okay, oh, well, okay. Well, I'll let you uh, finish getting ready. I'll just be in the living room. Okay. Wow, <laughs> you made the bed. Yeah, it's a habit at this point. It looks so restrictive. I guess you could say that. Okay, well, I'll let you finish getting ready. I've been thinking about how to tell you this for a while now. Is it really that difficult? Well, I never thought I would ever tell you. When I left, I didn't think I would ever see you again. Did you ever wonder why I never came home for the holidays? Yeah, I was curious about it, but just assumed that you couldn't or that you wanted to see your mom. Well, there's no one I wanted to see more than you. But I don't understand. That night, after my birthday party, when we kissed, Dad saw. <gasps> he never said anything. I know. He made me promise never to say anything. That morning when you're sleeping, he gave me ultimatum. He told me I could leave and never come back, or he was gonna divorce you and tell everyone you're a monster. <laughs> oh, this is just too much. I am a monster. You're not, Sarah. <sighs> so you left to protect me? It was an easy decision. You didn't deserve that. The hardest part of leaving was knowing I might never see you again. And you always called when your father was out of town. Well, I didn't want him to know. I figured you wouldn't say anything either. You're right. And he never wanted to talk about you. I thought it was really weird at first, but then I thought it was just the way he always was. He didn't do anything to hurt you? No. He was never cruel or harsh. Just cold. So cold. Well, why didn't you leave? 
I was afraid. I was so afraid to sever the only connection I had to you. I came here to take you away, don't you understand? <laughs> this is my house. But it's not a home. This is just so overwhelming. Well, have your feelings changed? No, they've only grown stronger over the years. But, Rob, you don't understand the shame that I've lived with. Being afraid that... My feelings were, were, was the reason why you left and, and then every door knock and phone ringing made me think that, oh my God, bad news of you dying was going to be there and, and then trying to live with the idea of the fact that you died, it would have been all because of me. Well, I'm here now. It seems like just a dream. This is real life. What will people say? I don't know, we'll move far away, where nobody knows us. And what if they find out? Then we'll move further away. I would move to the farthest corner of Siberia if I meant to be with you. <sighs> and I'd go with you. <laughs> mm. Look at you, hard for mommy. Oh,